President Obama announced a $6 billion increase in NASA funding, allowing for new space exploration missions. As ABC News on-campus reporter Lauren Grush reports, NASA is hoping to use some of that money to send a new visitor into space, one that isn't human. There's a new astronaut joining the NASA team who may soon get a chance to walk on the moon. Meet Robonaut 2. Designed to mimic actions of a real human, R2 has taken three years to build and is considered to be the most advanced humanoid robot to date. So we're proving here that our robot can work with flexible materials. That's something that not very many robots in the world can do right now. The main thing that sets R2 apart from other robots of its type, its forearm and its hand. Boasting 200 sensors, it can perform any task a normal human hand can. NASA will be sending R2 to the space station at the end of the year as part of the last shuttle mission. We want a robot that can help people. And uh, for example, it's like a nurse working with a doctor. You can have the robot sit there and hand an astronaut tools on the space station and be an assistant. And what comes after its space station visit? Putting this R2 robot on the moon in a thousand days. Matt Onler manages Project M. Their goal, give R2 some legs and send it to the moon in July of 2013. While this prototype has been funded by NASA and GM, funds for R2's trip to the moon have yet to be allocated. Onler thinks it's the direction NASA should take. The, the humanoid robot, I think, is the defining technology of this century. You know, it, it will be to this century what the television or the personal computer or the automobile was to the last century. Zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. The shuttle program is slated to end this year, and with Obama looking to restructure NASA's approach to space exploration, Onler expects NASA's funds to be reapportioned to help jumpstart Project M. I think this is going to be a really great project for NASA if we get a chance to do it. Um, it's a good opportunity to get a very positive public outreach, and it advances this technology that, again, I think is is probably the most important technology of this century. For ABC News on Campus, Lauren Grush, Houston, Texas.